So we have a problem, and the problem is we have to be humble. We're supposed to be humble. We can't really be Krishna conscious if we're not. But we all want to be appreciated. And we need some appreciation to be motivated. So what's the, is there a difference between being appreciated and being humble? And is it wrong to want to be appreciated? And how do we deal with it in a Krishna conscious way? It depends what that appreciation is doing for you and why you want it. And it depends what that praise, how that praise is being taken by you and how it's affecting you. So if you say, well, the appreciation that I want is just to just a kind of an encouragement in my service that I'm I'm doing well, that I'm sincere, and and if I know that if it's confirmed by someone above me, someone I respect, then that becomes a motive for doing my service and inspiration, which, which there's nothing wrong with that. We need an inspiration. And if that's where you get your inspiration, just from a little pat on the back, encouragement, yeah, you did good. Keep doing it. This is right. This, is, this will please Prabhupada. Then I think that's natural and it's not really detrimental. And that's not what Prabhupada means by by being motivated by material desire or the need to be recognized. It's just, it's just you want, you're looking for something to inspire you, you because if you don't know that Krishna is being pleased by this, then it's difficult to continue enthusiastically. You want to know that. You want to get some confirmation that what I'm doing is of value. And that's, that's why Prabhupada often encouraged devotees by saying, I'm very pleased with you. Please continue uh, your services. I'm very happy to hear your report about this or that. And so Prabhupada would say that a lot. And that's, and that's pure encouragement. And that kind of encouragement doesn't make the devotee proud. It just makes him feel like, okay, I'm doing the right thing. I'm on the right track. My spiritual master is pleased. I can continue doing this. Or Krishna is pleased. But when I'm doing something solely for the purpose of being recognized, honored, to upgrade my false ego to the next level or upgrade my position in ISKCON to the next level of praise and honor and respect, that's a whole different thing. And so that's how you make this, how you distinguish. Because in the first case scenario, your motive is really just to get feedback that this is the right thing. And then encouragement to continue. It's not really motivated by pride. In the second scenario, you actually want to be recognized as a good devotee, as a, as a devotee who's better than others. And, and sometimes you see that with disciples. You know, they're vying for recognition by their guru. And it's not pure. It's like they see, effect, maybe they see affection in that recognition, or they see self-worth in that in that praise. But that's not what the devotee wants. The devotee just wants to know that their spiritual master is pleased. He doesn't want to try to artificially get some recognition so he can feel himself better. So that's the point. To feel yourself better than others is dangerous. It's not what Krishna consciousness is. To be encouraged and appreciated is different. It's not going to it's not going to put you in a position where you feel better. It just puts you in a position that you know you're doing the right thing. So that's, the, that's how you distinguish it. Appreciation is a very deep human need. You just want, you want to know that your life is of some worth. Is it valuable? That it's valuable, that it has purpose, that there's a reason to get out of bed, that, that what you're doing matters to someone or somehow. If you don't have that, then why even get up and do anything? So often the spiritual master will say, thank you for this service, I'm very pleased, please continue. Then you feel, yes, I have a reason to serve. I have a reason to get out of bed and do what I do. But that's different. And that's natural. We all want that. We all need that. We all need to know that Prabhupada is pleased, the Vaishnavas are pleased, my guru is pleased. That, that's natural. But not because we want 
to be recognized as a better devotee, or not because we want to put ourselves above others, but just because we want to serve, want to be inspired to serve. Hare Krishna.